everyone, Sully here from Black Ops Toys coming at you today with a team that I'm building and this is part of my Fight the Future series um, and I'm really into kit bashing stuff okay and when I get my mind set on something I tend to go like hog wild so I'm actually creating an entire series of these guys and you can see that there's a lot of commonalities and we're using kind of robot parts and regular like modern military stuff along with some a dash of futuristic crap thrown in and this is kind of where i'm going right now so let's start off with this guy this is the sniper um, a couple different things i just want to go over kind of what parts i'm using lots of cool gear here okay uh, this is a jackal x head we have a soldier story body uh, the top is Soldier Story. Uh, this arm gauntlet right here is from Thor. Um, Hot Toys. Uh, Damn Toys Pants. Damn Toys, these are my favorite shoes of all time, but Damn Toys Black Multicam Vans. So super, super cool, just a dope set of shoes. Um, next we have a Soldier Story pistol here. And when I design these things, I want them to be kind of functional. So if it's real world scenario, this is kind of what they would have on them and everything would, would do something. So we have a sniper rifle. Um, this is a scar. This is from ENS, but I've traded out a couple pieces. Um, magazines galore. So because he's half man, half robot, uh, he can carry a lot of shit, which is great. Um, next, we have some pistol magazine pouches. We do have a grenade here. We have a couple of incendiary grenades in here from Sully. We have a knife from BBI. This uh, tactical chest rig was actually uh, done by, I believe, Playhouse or Saturday Toys, same company, a uh, long time ago. And it's one that I had in a bin. Um, moving right along, you can see the back. We have a harness here. This is a climbing harness. Any sniper needs a climbing harness. And we have an IFAC on the butt. And then we have an ENS uh, laser cut vest underneath the chest rig. So, and ENS hands. But freaking sweet figure. I'm really, really happy with this one. Love this. I'm happy with all three of these. So, and everything is always a work in progress. So you're never quite done because you're always gonna find something, oh, that would look really good on that other figure that I've already done. That's 10 years old and I'm gonna update it. So that's cool. Next, we have this guy. And this guy would be your team leader. You can see he's got the uh, Black Ops Toys patch on because everybody needs one of those. Uh, this guy, I had these heads that I bought a long time ago and I don't even remember where I got them, um, but they've been sitting in a drawer and I wanted to use them and all of a sudden I had this brainchild idea to do this series. So let's go over him, top to bottom. We have Soldier Story shoes from their SDU figure. Uh, we have Soldier Story body. Um, again, the head, I don't know where it came from. Um, we have this guy, uh, and I don't know where that came from either, but that's a robotic hand because he's half, half robot. Um, we have our 3D magnetic rail here with two different futuristic scopes. This is an ENS rifle, ENS pistol with suppressor. We have this right here. This is the uh, vest from Damn Toys Glint Team, Ryder Watson. Love these vests. I have a couple of them. I'm doing a couple more figures in this series. Um, and we have this black multicam, looks like a diaper. Um, and this came with the new Soldier Story exosuit figure. And I was wondering like, what the hell am I gonna do with those? And I decided to put them on a couple of these figures that I'm making and they look really, really cool. Futuristic, two-tone, uh, definitely something that I wasn't expecting to do, but I dig it. Next, we have Hot Toys knee pads. We have a Damn Toys combat belt. We have ENS mag pouch on the front there of the armor vest. We have ENS pouches. Actually, these are uh, MC Toys. This is an MC Toys uh, 556 pouches here. MC Toys uh, pistol mag pouch. This is art figure uh, grenade. ENS pistol mag pouch. Damn Toys grenade pouch. 
But all in all, that that's a freaking sweet figure. Really, really dig it. If you guys have been checking out the uh, old IG or Instagram, for those of you who are super old like me and don't really understand everything, um, we have been doing some turntables where you guys can actually see these to music. And it's music that I picked out. And some of it's cool, some of it's kind of gangsta, but whatever. Next, we're this guy right here, I, I named this guy already. This is Brutus, okay? And this is, again, kind of like the Sully Juggernaut, but this is a Terminator version and robotic on top, robotic arm, so it can actually hold that weight on that Gatling gun. The Gatling gun is going to be from ENS. The backpack is from the Sully figure uh, from MSE or US, Black Ops Toys and ENS. Uh, we have a drop leg holster, and that is from ENS. Same type of top and bottom. So this right here as a sniper. So soldier story, damn toys, soldier story, soldier story body that's been beefed up and padded. Incendiary grenades from uh, the Sully figure. You can see that other Thor gauntlet over here. So there's two that come in a set, so I used one here and one here. Next we have drop leg grenade pouch. So the grenades are from the Sully figure and this uh, pouch is from the Ryder Watson figure um, where the armor vest come, came from. You can see he also has an armor vest and this is again from the damn toys Ryder Watson figure glint team. But we'll do a quick turn of him. Now you can see these robots, these robot heads right here. I had to uh, put on uh, I cut a shirt sleeve and put it over the neck because the neck was uh, basically like a human flesh tone and I wanted this to be covered. So I cut off a sleeve on a shirt and threw it over the neck and now you can't see that, that disparagement. So, disparity? Pistol, disparity? Disparity? Whatever. Uh... Something. <laughs> so yeah, this guy turned out super cool. Love him. Uh, super beefy. Uh, but yeah. So we kind of got Team Leader, Heavy Gunner, Sniper, and I think I'm going to do two or three others um, in this series. So if you like videos like this and you want to see more of them, especially with my custom kit bashes, please make sure that you pound that subscribe button and ding-a-ling that bell to be notified of new and exciting content like these guys.